Next is product catalog sales. If you click it, you'll notice you've probably got this red dialogue here. You need to create a personal catalog to be able to create a campaign. Um, and basically what these do, they're very clever and they will automatically show specific product from your catalog based on the audience you're showing it to. So for example, in terms of, say you have a Shopify dropshipping store and you want to run a retargeting campaign on Facebook, the best way, in my opinion, to do this is to run um, an ad using the product catalog sales objective. And with one of these, I will show you one um, later down the line because they're really good, probably my favorite campaign objective. Um, what they do is they populate um, a carousel ad with potential products. Basically, you'll add your product catalog here. If you've got a Shopify store, you can do it pretty much automatically. And you can show product catalog ads. A lot of people call them DPA ads, which is called dynamic product ad, I think. Um, you can show these to people that have visited your website and Facebook will know um, if these people have come through to your website through Facebook previously, Facebook will know what products these people have looked at or perhaps added to cart. Um, if you have your Facebook pixel connected to your Shopify site, which I will go on to, do not worry. But basically, Facebook will know what product these people have looked at and it will show them that product again. And you can then have the same text. So for example, oh, it looks like you forgot something. Um, we've saved your cart for you. Head back over to our website to check out now. Or, oh, hey, um, we saw that you'd like this product. We saw that you looked at this product. We saw you were interested in this product. And you can show that same piece of text to every single person, but the image will change to whatever that person has looked at, which is why it's so clever. And that's why it's called dynamic.